you know, it's the fifth year now with the guys. And uh, now the foundation's set. You know, we, we put in the kitchen finally. And uh, you, you, you're looking at the house and like, wow, it's not a bad looking house. It's starting to come together. The kids are much better this year. Every year they've gotten better. They know what to expect. So things are looking pretty good this year for us, I really believe. We have, we have quiet leaders, so I have to do a lot of the work. You know, I've always been a, I've never been a guy to, to blame. I, I've been around some staffs where they blame the kids. Well, we're losing because there's no senior leadership. And I always felt that that's part of the coaching staff. There's kids that don't speak, uh, do not speak, then you got to be the one to be excited. So you can tell by my voice, you know, I've been running around being excited and wearing these funny hats and keeping the guys going, and, and they're starting to catch on. I, I would say our strength is with the line. You know, we, we have a very, very good line this year. You know, uh, uh, we have some inexperienced kids behind them. Hopefully they can catch on to the plate. But right now I think our strength is the offensive and defensive line. We've always been small here in Mid-Valley. You know, they called me Big Daddy in high school, and I was only 220 pounds, 230 pounds. So uh, once in a while we get some size. Next year, next couple of years, we have, we're going to be very, very big. We have some kids who are going to be 6'8". You know, six seven. Their, their fathers are six eight and six seven. So, but they're the youth that we have right now. Uh, right now we're small, but we're biters. You know, we're, we're pretty tough kids, and, and you know what, we can move. So, I'm pretty excited about that. I was pretty disappointed. I was very disappointed in numbers. My first year we were 62. The next year we're, we hovered around 50s and in the 40s, and now we're about 30. And uh, you know, I thought that was low. And then listening to a lot of other coaches in a lot around the leagues are saying they're under 25, 22, and, and uh, now I feel pretty good. Yeah. You know, but you're battling the Xboxes. And, and then with the uh, concussions and stuff like that, right. <clears throat> what we do when we tell our parents, we do not teach anything with the head. Even coming off the ball, it's all hands. Uh, we don't, we, we, we uh, rugby tackle. Use our shoulders, so we're all about safety first, and, and our parents now feel pretty good about it. We've been, we've been managing our cut concussions. And uh, if we do get any ringers or anything like that, they've never been from head-on head collisions. They've been freak accidents or a kid. I mean, like soccer accidents or even a softball accident. You know, I've seen a concussion softball when the ball hits the kid in the head. You know, but we're not getting that head-on-head -head uh, collision with concussions. You know, back in college, we were doing it, and I didn't realize we were doing rugby tackling. They never called it rugby tackling. They just, they just coached us up. You were, you, as a matter of fact, you weren't ever asked a question of anything. But uh, we were watching Pete Carroll, and I saw a lot of stuff. I said, yeah, that's the stuff that we used to do. We still did, but we just we find it and work on it. We do no hitting in practice. We don't practice tackling in the sense where we're going 100 miles an hour. We actually fit all the tackling and everything's on back.